Hello and welcome to R&D Stories. With nearly 1 million procedures a year, South Korea is often referred to as the world plastic surgery capital. The three most popular plastic surgery procedures in the country are skin whitening, nose jobs and double eyelid surgery. Cosmetic surgery in South Korea is even a common graduation gift. This emerging surge in plastic surgeries in South Korea is widely influenced by the entertainment industry, K-pop and K-drama. Stars called K-pop idols. These K-pop idols went under multiple plastic surgeries. These K-pop idols are presented in such a way that they are alarmingly perfect. This in turn influences the youth on various levels. In order to look perfect, youth opt for plastic surgeries. This had led to malpractices done by no voice doctors and surgeons. The practice of hiring one doctor to perform a surgery, but a second doctor actually performing that surgery once the patient is under anesthesia is known as coast surgery. It is illegal, the laws around it are weak, and the practice offers clinic a way to make money. One such case is of the student Kwan Dehi. The case is back in 2016. The late Kwan Dehi became fascinated by a particular advertisement from the renowned plastic surgery Center A in Seoul. Center A claimed in the advertisement 14 years in business without a single medical accident and promised the competence of the center's doctors and staff members. The ad also advertised the head doctor operates from start to finish reassuring potential patients that they will be in good professional and experienced hands. Dehi was always insecure about his square jawline all his life. He wanted to change that. Quan decided to get bone cutting surgery to slim down his facial structure. Quan Dehi had gone in for surgery that would make his jawline appear more slender. The surgery usually takes at most two hours and has become a common place in South Asia, popularized by K-pop. On September 8, 2016, Kwan Dehi went under surgery only to lose his life. Kwan Dehi died of heavy bleeding. CCTV footage from Kwan's surgery, however, showed that one plastic surgeon started the surgery and another, a general doctor who did not have a plastic surgery license, took over the surgery after about an hour. The surgery took more than three hours and Quan bled heavily when it was over. He died in the hospital seven weeks later. As shown in the CCTV footage, Dehi is constantly bleeding, but there is no immediate response to the issue. The doctor is carrying out the surgery as if nothing is serious, with Dehi losing an alarming amount of blood. When a pool of blood accumulates on the OR floor, medical staff in the room mops it away. Inevitably, Quan was in the jeopardy of recovering from the surgery. When all of his vitals dropped to critical levels, Center A transferred Quan to a larger medical facility. Even until this moment, Quan had not been given any blood. At the transferred hospital, Quan remained unconscious for 49 days before passing away on October 6, 2016. Kwan Dehi's mother could not accept this happening and suspected something of the plastic surgery center. She asked for the CCTV footage and watched it 100 times over and over. She also took the help of other plastic surgeons to analyze the small details that happened inside the OR. Kwan mother was able to take the center A to the court for neglecting proper care for Kwan as the patient. While Kwan's mother accepted the head doctor to be penalized in the face law, the verdict left Center A off with 325,000 US dollars compensation to the family. Even when Kwan's mother appealed, the court did not look further into the matter and dismissed the case. In May 2019, the Korea Times reported that under a newly proposed bill, the use of ghost doctors would be subject to fines or prison terms up to three years. Prior to 2019 bill, the surgeon faced no punishment for the practice while the ghost surgeon could face fines or up to five years of prison. In July 2020, lawmakers in South Korea submitted a bill that would require hospitals to have video cameras in operating rooms to prevent ghost surgeries and sexual attacks on patients under anesthesia.
However, either wise plastic surgeries with high-end tools and highly experienced doctors can also take a wrong turn. Be safe and informed.